calculate the variation of this data set using the measure variance. Okay, let us recall the formula of calculating the variance given group data. Okay, so we need our plus mark. We will again add another column. For the plus mark, another column for the product of the plus mark and frequency. So this is F times X. This is three, eight. 13 and 18. Okay, we, we multiply this to here. So we have 9. Okay, so this part here we have to square first our plus mark we will add another column so we have here x raised to 2 Okay, and then we have to multiply this column with the frequency. Okay, to get this column, we simply multiply our frequency with the column x raised to 2. So we have it here, 3 times 9 equals 27, 5 times 64 is 320, 10 times 169 is 1690, and 2 times 324 is 648. Okay, so to answer with this, we have to add this column.
Okay, so the sum is 2,685. And we also need to get the sum of the product of frequency and class bar. Okay, so this column here. So we have 215. We are now ready to substitute the values with our formula. Okay, we called our n, n is 20, so we have it here, 20 times our sum of fx squared, which is this, we have 2685, Okay, then the sum of f and x. So this column we have 215. And we squared it 1. Then we divide it with 20 times 19. We have here in the numerator seven four seven five. And in the denominator we have Okay, we divide seven four seven five with three eighty. Okay, so we get 19 point, approximately 19.6711. Okay, so we go back to our data set. We interpret it as the scores of... The students vary by about 19.67 or about 20 points using the variance. Okay, so that's quite big. We will use the standard deviation to have a better interpretation with the variation using the variance. Standard deviation is simply the square root of your variance. So that is about four point.
Okay, so to interpret our variation, we use the standard deviation. Okay, our scores now vary by about 4.44 points or about 4 points. Okay, then we move on to skewness. Skewness describes the extent of departure of the distribution of the data from symmetry. So if the distribution of the data is symmetric, the value of your skewness is 0. And if the distribution is positively skewed, the value of your skewness is positive. And if it is negatively skewed, then your skewness value must be negative. This is how we determine the skewness. So what is the, the distribution of a symmetry? Okay, we have here in illustrations uh, the distribution which is symmetric, positively skewed, and negatively skewed. Okay, so this is an example of a symmetric distribution. So we expect the value of the skewness of a symmetric distribution to be equal to zero. And this one is a positively skewed distribution. Okay, having tail on the right, where mode is less than the median, and median is less than the mean. Okay, so we expect the skewness or the value of skewness to be positive. And for negatively skewed distribution, we observe a tail on its left, and the mode is greater than the median, and the median is greater than the mean. Okay, we expect the value of the skewness of a negative, negatively skewed distribution to be negative. So this is how we calculate the skewness. SK equals 3 times the difference between the mean and its median divided by its standard deviation. Okay, we will use the same data set. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as an example. Or we can use this one. Okay, so we use this example. Given mean equals to 63.70. Median to be 65.77. Standard deviation to be 18.15. So we will determine the coefficient of skewness. We will also determine whether the distribution is positively skewed, negatively skewed, or symmetric. Okay, so S key or skewness equals a constant value 3 times x bar or the mean minus the median times I mean divided by the standard deviation okay let us take note of our given we have 63.70 as the mean and 65.77 as the median 18.15 as the standard deviation okay we go back to our formula we have a constant value 3 we multiply it with the difference between the mean, which is 63.70, and the median, which is 65.77. We divide it with the standard deviation 18.15. If SK is 0, our distribution is symmetric. 
If SK is positive, it is positively skewed. If SK is negative, it is negatively skewed. Okay, so our SK is negative point three four two one so that is approximately negative point three four two one okay so therefore we conclude that the given distribution is a negative skewed since sk value is negative okay we now move on the concept on Cartusis. Cartusis describes the degree of peakedness or flatness of a distribution. If the distribution of the data is belt shaped or asymmetric distribution, k is zero and we call it mesocartic. If the shape of the distribution is relatively peaked, then we expect the value of our Cartusis to be greater than zero and we call the distribution to be leptocartic. If the shape is relatively flat, we expect k to be less than zero, and the distribution is called the platycartic. Okay, this is the illustration that describes the cartouches of your data set. So if you have this distribution that is called platycartic and if you have this distribution with a blocked line or colored black that is mesocartic and for this distribution, we call it the leptocarty. If we have this kind of distribution, we expect k to be less than zero. And for this, we expect the value of k to be equal to zero. And for the blue one, we expect the value of k to be greater than zero. Okay, let's try to determine whether our data is elliptocartic, mesocartic, or platycartic. Say, for example, given the following observations, 3, 8, 5, 7, and 6, find the coefficient of cartouches. Okay, we call the formula. We have for ungrouped data, x minus x bar raised to the power of 4. The sum of x minus x bar raised to the power of 4 divided by n s raised to 4 minus 3. Okay, so this time, we have to determine first the mean. Okay, we go back to our data. Three, eight, five, seven, six. Okay, apply your knowledge and calculating the mean. This is 5.8. K therefore is equal to three point 
3 minus the mean 5.8. Raise to 4 plus, okay, so we have 3 minus 5.8 raised to 4, then we have 8 Okay, so we have we have now three minus five point eight raised to four, eight minus five point eight raised to four, five minus five point eight raised to four, seven minus five point eight raised to four, and six minus five point eight raised to four. We divide it with according to our formula, n times the standard deviation raised to four, and our given standard deviation. is equal to okay solve the standard deviation of this given data set using the knowledge that we have learned in our previous discussion okay if you are going to calculate the standard deviation of 38576 you will get 1.9235 Okay, we will use this one in our denominator. It says that n, which is 5, times 1.9235 raised to 4. Okay, calculate and... write the calculated value for k calculate for k we have k will now be equal to 87.376 divided by 5 times 1.9235 our standard deviation raised to 4 okay and then we subtract it with the constant 3 This will now become 
three seven six divided by sixty eight point four four five. Okay, remember that you have to raise our standard deviation with 4, then you multiply it with 5, and then subtract it with 3. K will now be approximately equal to 1.5. Minus 3, so that is equal to negative 1.723. Since k is negative, we conclude that the given distribution is considered to be platycartic.